Fiction here with the ZIA. Um, I'm coming here with a pretty awesome video, pretty cool. Um, over here, we've been kind of busy. You know, we have um, we have a lot of videos for you guys. I have a lot to update, have a lot to go through. You know, that's why videos that haven't been going up as quick as they are. I've just got a lot of to do. Uh, you know, simple, pretty much said. Anyways, uh, I come to you guys with a pretty cool video for you guys. Um, a good friend of mine, uh, SBS Leonidas. I've known him. Uh, like three years now since I was like maybe barely a teenager. I met him playing through uh, Left 4 Dead. Pretty bomb as Left 4 Dead player. Go check out his Left 4 Dead videos. Um, there will be a link to his channel in the description box but he actually made this video for me to put on the channel which is pretty you know obviously really fucking awesome of him. And he's a really chill guy and the video it's <laughs> far better than the videos we've done. Um, all of our videos are pretty much, as you've seen, shot with BB guns and, you know, this and that, all done in my backyard and, you know, pretty much the most low budget shit you can think of. But, um, he's, uh, he's actually, um, you know, he's actually military personnel, I guess you could say. You know, he is in the Army, he's with the, um, National Guard for Colorado, everything like that. So, you know, he's got, he's got some shit, <laughs> obviously, so. You know, he made this video for us to put on the channel, and like I said, it's really awesome shit. It's, uh, you know, he's got all this cool shit on him, he tells you pretty much, you know, he swaps out the whole fucking zombie survival kit right there and there for you, and everything that he's put on this list, I highly agree with. I highly agree with. Everything he shows you in this video, you are going to need. I don't give a fuck what you say, I don't care if you're like seven feet tall and can lift up a fucking Mack truck, that's all nice and well, you're not gonna fucking survive without the shit that he will point out for you guys. So this is an introduction for the video he made for us, so I want to tell you guys that, you know, it's really cool of him to do this, this video, I enjoyed it a lot, you know, it's pretty fucking awesome, and you know, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, so, here we go. Here goes the grand unveiling of the most best awesome video I've ever seen and probably the best video we'll ever have on this channel. So here you guys go. Hello YouTube, this is SBS Leonidas back with another video. This time I'm going to be showing you how to survive the zombie apocalypse. Or not really how to survive it, but your, the basic uh, kit you're going to need when the zombie apocalypse strikes. And 2012 is right around the corner when the nukes fall and the zombies start crawling out of the woodwork. You're going to wish you were ready. Uh, I did this for Fiction's channel because it's pretty much, uh, more suited toward his needs and I'm trying to help my buddy out. So, uh, first thing you're gonna need is a backpack, uh, to haul all your crap around in. You wanna keep your load light, so you want a smaller backpack. Um, pretty much, uh, one of the basic rules is you wanna stick with natural, neutral, or dark colors, because zombies are dumb but they're not colorblind. If you wear a red-ass backpack down the street, the zombie's gonna find you and rape you to death. I've seen it happen many times. Uh, I guess there's really no good place to start, so we'll just start grabbing stuff and throwing it in the backpack. This is a first aid kit. Rule number one of surviving the zombie apocalypse. Don't get bit. If you get bit, it's over. Don't even get scratched, but uh, pretty much that's for all the nicks and cuts you'll receive just naturally, just clearing buildings, breaking glass, what have you, you're gonna get scratched up and you need to treat your wounds. You can't risk an infection in the zombie apocalypse. Because as your as your freaking arm is swelling up like the elephant man and you're laying on the side of the road dying, a zombie's gonna be gnawing your other arm off. You don't want that, so pretty much fit in there. Carry a first aid kit. As long as we're on medicinal you're going to need antibiotics, in case you do get infection. It's not going to help for the, for the uh, zombification, because do as you know, zombification is carried through virus. Antibiotics don't help viruses, they're only to kill bacteria. Um, 
you're going to, this is a, uh, this is just something I'm carrying along, this is a, uh, you can't even see it to get the light too bright, but that pretty much what it is, is Warrior Skills Level 1. You get this in basic training, it teaches you, uh, pretty much all the, uh, formations and stuff that the military uses to walk down streets, and this is the IET manual. Also, another military book on, uh, tactical formations and grappling and shooting and what have you. Good things to have. You're going to want to carry a notebook so that you can, uh, uh, catalog the zombies' activities, note changes, and, uh, uh, keep a diary so that you you have an uh, interesting story to tell your grandchildren if you survive. And if not, then other survival will find it in like a few mistakes. This is an interesting little device. Uh, it's a uh, temperature controller. It's got the, the, I don't know what it's called, but it's the same stuff they put in baby diapers. Uh, you get this wet with either, you get it wet with cold water or when you're in a hot temperature environment. Or you can uh, wet it and stick it in a microwave or cold temperature environment. Pretty much that uh, could essentially be a lifesaver. Next, we have. Sit back, back down for a second. We have a trenching tool. You're going to want to carry this in case you need to fortify position, dig into a. Uh, dig into the ground to make a foxhole, and it also makes a pretty killer weapon once it's uh, uh, expanded. Stick that in your backpack. It's not too awful heavy. Yet. Uh, definitely gonna want to stock up on these. This is a military MRE, aka meal ready to eat. Uh, civilian ones I don't think are as good, but they will suffice. Uh, military ones are not for commercial resale. You have to be, you have to be affiliated with the army in some way, or you sneak home with one, or you have to know somebody in the military to procure you one. Getting awkward. Ah, uh, uh, you're gonna want a ski mask. It's, it's cold. Cover your head up because almost all the heat that you lose goes through your head. You're going to want to want. You're gonna want to have an extra watch in case this watch breaks because uh, you don't want to be stuck out uh, too late at night. You want to try to get in a couple hours before sundown uh, to your base, which you want to be cut out at night. This is a knife sharpener. You need that. This is a C-clip. It also has a couple of blades on it. Be very useful. Um, this is a three-bladed pocket knife. In case one of the blades break, you have uh, another two to work with, and it can also be used as a free lethal throwing weapon if you break it. Throw that in there. This is another notepad. It's a little bit smaller. Uh, just pretty much jot down stuff you need to remember. This could be used as a pretty effective weapon. Uh, it's pretty much the, the back end of a, of a uh, shovel. The handle broke and I just saw the end off of it. And uh, it can be used as a pretty lethal club. Also a hammer is a pretty lethal melee weapon. And last but not least by any means, it's awfully lonely out there, and to keep yourself from uh, having any ideas about fornicating with zombies, you need to carry. I have a little shovel damage. You need to carry a little dirty magazine. All right. Prefer hustler. If you like Playboy, ritzy stuff. Go on ahead. All right. Now shove that in there. Zip up your survival kit. Oh, I forgot a couple of things. My bad. When the zombie apocalypse is over, you're going to want to have a properly folded American flag. Stuff that in a safe place. And you're going to want to go fill off. You're going to want some Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew is actually highly nutritious. It's got a load of sugar and caffeine in it. So it gives you enough energy to fight off the zombies. Um, I can handle Red Bull really good. Uh, a lot of people crash pretty bad after it, and uh, Monster gives you a raging sugar high and a really bad crash, so I don't recommend carrying those things with you. Uh, Mountain Dew will stay with you a while, typically. Alright, so there's your little assault pack you got going on there, everything's loaded up. Now we move on to what you wear. You don't want to go around in zombie apocalypse with short sleeves. You're going to want to have 
long sleeves to avoid cuts and stuff to your forearms. This is a lighter um, military jacket. The weave on it is pretty strong, so it won't tear very easily. And it's light, so you can open up the sleeves, get some circulation to the sleeves, just have a couple buttons buttoned down here, and it should protect you pretty good from scrapes and scratches. Colder environments, this hoodie, this fleece hoodie, is also pretty durable, and it'll retain your body heat pretty good. Throw that on the pack. All right. Now, next thing you're going to want is you can buy an LBV or, like I have, a life strap and a pistol belt or some Mala gear at any sur army surplus store for a reasonably cheap price. Put it all together, and here you go. Also, don't really have room to carry this, but this, these are bandoliers. As you can see, I got uh, a couple ammo mags in there. That's going to be going on my assault pack because there's really not room on my uh, on my assault vest. Got your uh, pistol right here in case things get really hairy. You got a hand grenade right here. Clear out a uh, big mess of zombies should the occasion arise. All right, Goes right there. Uh, in these two front pouches, I have racks. Whoops, that one wasn't secured very well. I have racks of ammo for my assault rifle that I'll break out here in a second. Those are uh, to quickly refill the, band the uh, magazines and the bandoliers when you run out of ammo. Uh, in here, I got smoke bombs you can pick up from any fireworks store. These cost me 99 cents a piece and they're one step away from military grade smoke grenades. So those are pretty good. They make a pretty good distraction from the zombies. Uh, I just bought this today from Walmart. It's a Winchester Bowie knife, and they got it on sale at Walmart for 19 bucks. 19 bucks, you can get this piece. You're gonna want that. Also at Walmart, when I bought it, it was 10 bucks, but now they got it on sale for six. That's your machete. In case something happens to your main rifle. Your main weapon. You're gonna want some backup melee weapons, and those are just big enough to do the job, I would think. Uh, and this pouch here, I don't have anything yet. That's just for easy access materials. What I should have in there is my gloves. These are the winter gloves. You can see they're insulated. You're gonna want to protect your hands at all times. You want as much protection as you can. Okay. Now, these are for winter. They're kind of padded and bulky. What you really want, go to your local uh, police uh, store and pick up these tactical gloves. They got webbing on the hands, so it's really hard to drop your weapon. They're super thin, so it's really easy to feel the weapon. And they got hard knuckles on them, so that uh, you can hit a brick wall with these things and not feel anything. They have that impact resistant gel behind that plastic. They fit skin tight, they're really comfortable. I can't seem to find my right one though, so, yeah. Now we move on to footwear. No substitutes. You can either get an old style BDU army boot, like I'm wearing now. Yeah, these are really tough. You won't, it's kind of, you won't roll your ankles much. And they're really good for kicking zombies in the face. Besides, they last forever. Or you can go with a desert combat boot. They're much lighter, they got vents inside so they can breathe. Uh, don't give too much support for kicking zombies in the face, but they are lighter, you can move faster in them. Uh, not much support for the ankles though, and uh, they'll last forever too. So, get that out of the way. Uh, what's next? You're gonna want, personally, I have a Mac 90. This is the Chinese version of the AK-47. It's just as good as the AK-47. They're all made pretty much the same. As you can see, they uh, they shoot 7.62 by 39 shells. That 
will blow a zombie in half. That's a pretty substantial round right there. Alright. I recommend buying a Mac 90. Uh, I've outfitted mine with a tactical flashlight so I can blind zombies when I walk into a room. And I also have, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, found it down here, a laser. So that I can uh, see. So I don't have to really aim. And then I got a 4x sc scope on it. So I can, uh, this isn't really too good of a sniping weapon, but it'll uh, suffice if I want to go long range. Uh, it's kind of heavy, but I can't think of a gun I'd rather have in the zombie apocalypse. Um, did I miss anything on the vest? I don't think so. I got a spare little flashlight here in case I need to. In case I need, no, I don't want to cause too much. Uh, I mean, uh, call too much attention to myself when I'm in a room, but I still need to see like small things in front of me. Got a little, uh, little flashlight here. All right. Last but not least, we move on to headgear. You must protect your face. Still hear me with my mic like this. All right. This is a paintball mask. Okay. This is only if the zombie uh, infection strain is not airborne. If it's airborne, you're gonna want a respirator. I can't find that. I don't know what I did with it, but I have a uh, military World War II issued respirator goes all over the face, and it works pretty good. Paintball mask will suffice under uh, normal, just contact only strains of the infection. If it's good, looks great, ready to rock and roll. Now you're still going to want to protect the top of your head because you know zombies like to eat brains. So, you can either splurge on this, what was that? You can either splurge on this ACU from the military, currently, made out of Kevlar, kind of heavy, very expensive, or you can go down to your army surplus store and buy this. Made out of tin, but it's very effective against zombie brain eating uh, exploits, and it costs 20 bucks. Alright, you're ready to rock and roll in the zombie apocalypse. Throw on your uh, backpack kit and bring on the zombies. It's really hot in this room right now. <laughs> Alright. This is SBS Leonidas. Didn't you good zombie killing? See you next time. Hello YouTube, this is SBSC and I just bring you another video. Uh, this time I'm gonna be sh I'm gonna be show. Hello YouTube, this is SBSC and I just bring you another video. This time I'm gonna going to be gonna go. Hello YouTube, this is SBSC and I just bring you another video. This time I'm gonna go I'm gonna be going over the basics of. Uh, Rule number one, do not get bit by the zombies, but if it happens, then you're going to need a first aid Cuts, scratches, or anything that would, uh, that you would just naturally, like, cut your... i a rough time with this. I'm having a really rough time in the <coughs> Hello YouTube, this is SPS Lee and I just come with bandaged and uh uh bandaged and like with bandaged and moist at all times. 